I'm Martine Abel and I'm at Auckland Council. I'm one of the specialist advisors. My name is Peter Bear and I work as a chef at my camp, Taipo. I was born with a condition called Liebes congenital amaurosis. So at the moment I've got a light and darkness perception, but that's all. I've lost my colour perception. So if I'm looking at a person, I actually cannot see their face, but my peripheral vision is still pretty good. And um, so I use my peripheral vision to, to see everything. I think the first challenge is possibly the physical access. You know, you get moved a fair bit, you accept appointments to meet in another building. Well, this project analyzes the use of information and communication technology by professionals with visual impairments in the workplace. I would say that information and communications technology play a very, very important role to be a support element for them. I've been making use of using an iPad which has been really helpful to me, um, mainly because I can, I can zoom up on, on anything that I need to read. For instance, reading invoices, checking of finer print, um, recording of information. So I use a laptop with speech output program. I use a smartphone with speech output. I use a portable braille note taker. I would say that information and communication technology has become an extension of their bodies. Just being able to read again, uh, it's, um, yeah, been a great benefit to me um, using the iPad and technology around it. Different organizations have different practices in terms of supporting people with visual impairments. We also find that policies are written documents, but things that are happening on the ground in action, sometimes they may not be exactly in sync. It is not a matter of giving access to technology to these professionals only, it is about having the right policies in place and more than policies, it is about having the right attitudes. The messages to employers would be that it's not as daunting as, as you might think. Think of the person and the job you want them to do rather than the impairment or the disability. There is technology out there, there is organisations like the New Zealand Blind that come into the work environment and can give support, can educate not only the, the person that has a low vision but the employer, they can educate them and help them to understand. If we can say that we create an environment that is positive for people from different races, why can't we do the same? with people with different degrees of disabilities.